Hi, Kurt. You have a number of loops at your table. Loops are an essential tool for numismatists and collectors, but for many people starting out, or even for some of the more experienced collectors, the variety of loops and their intended use is still a bit confusing. Do you mind describing for us these magnifiers and how and when they should be used? Yeah, it's a very good point. No, it's a very good point. And, and, and again, it, it varies based on the collector. There's no one single answer to a loop. Um, it really depends on number one, starting and budget, of course, as a, as a young collector. And we have a lot of kids who come up just trying to, you know, improve what they can see. And we have some budget items that can do that to an advanced collector. And even at the advanced level or the graders who grade coins all the time, um, there's not a one level of magnification that's desired. It's dependent on the coin itself. Um, they range anywhere from three power, three X power, um, all the way up to 20 and 30 power. Uh, and that differentiates. And as you progress in those you know, different levels, you see more or less of the details of the coin. Why would somebody use a three power loop? Three times power gives you a nice wide range of the overall coin. So a lot of people will start looking at a coin, even an advanced uh, person will take a three power and see the entire coin as a whole, looking at an entire Morgan dollar or Silver Eagle, they can get that all into one window rather than focus on the detail of a coin, if it's a die strike issue or whatever it may be that they're looking at, the, whether it's scratches or whatever like that. How about a six power loop? Six times, again, same, same level. It's actually still a pretty broad view. You can't quite get a large coin in there, um, but at six power, usually you can still get in a penny size or an ancient uh, coin up to maybe, you know, 25, 30 millimeter. But then we and a nine or 10 power and above? But then when you start to notch it up to 10 times, 12 times, 15 times, and, and 20 times, then you are looking at the D, you're looking at the dates of a coin, so you can really inspect, see if there's a double die strike on it. You see if there's some scratches, perhaps, on it um, as well. So that's really how it en ends up looking. And then it's then it's quality, right? The differences in quality that might. Describe for me some of the loops that you have at your table. All right, so what we have here, a very wide selection of different types of magnifiers from a very basic uh, magnifier here, which is a 5X and a 5X together. When you use it together, it's actually a 10X. Very basic plastic lens um, that a lot of beginners will start with, very inexpensive option. You go up to a, something like this here, which is a 10X unit, which actually uh, collapses and has a little light on there as well. And then these are again plastic lenses. Then you step up to a more glass lens, a little bit more sophisticated um, lens that you get a lot more visibility in there. Again, with a 10X um, level lens uh, is again very, very consistent through the industry that people utilize. Um, and all the way up to something like this, which is called a stand magnifier. And you can just look down and basically on a hands-free basis, look down at the coin and examine it and you don't have to hold anything. And that again advances all the way up in the loop model to what's basically the world's best um, from Eschenbach, which is a 369 known as or an achromatic lens. So you have a 3X, a 6X, and together it's a 9X. But more importantly, as an achromatic loop, it's completely distortion free, color corrected, and essentially you get no distortion as you look to the outside of the lens. So you get a very wide view. And then you have the larger handheld magnifiers, which all have lights usually built in them, and they range in power from 3X all the way up to 12X. Um, and a lot of people prefer that because you have a much wider lens, as you can see, um, and again, gives you much more wide visibility of a coin or currency, too, as well, with notes that's very popular uh, in the currency business, too, as well. So. When you're looking at your own coins, which are your two go-to loops? Uh, well, I start usually, again, with our handheld magnifiers. Um, again, a 5X to give me a nice wide view of the coin so I can get an overall sense of the coin. And then I'll grab our achromatic loop, again, to look at the more detail aspects of it. I'll put them together, the 369, I'll use the nine power, look at the details and really tell the grade of the coin and the quality of them. That's usually, that's usually good, um, sufficient to, to be able to evaluate the coin. Well, thanks, Kurt, for sharing this information with us.
Yep, glad to see you, Charles, today, and uh, hope to help, hope is helpful. Certainly, go visit our website if you have any questions too, as well. A lot of different loops uh, available for you. If you like this Coin Week video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also check out our library of more than one thousand three hundred and.